Hello everyone and welcome to this week video. I want to show you how you should uh, set up your collections for your products. Um, there's, a, there's a bad way of doing it and there's a good way of doing it. In short, the good way of doing it is to use product conditions. Um, let me show you the, the bad way that you should avoid, uh, which in my example here is my homepage collection. Um, this is not the end of the world because the home page I'm using it only on the home page and it's only four products that I'm always gonna show there um, so in in this case it's not the end of the world but if you were to use this on on a real collection page uh, to showcase some products uh, you shouldn't do it this way um, one reason being that if your collection expands, you start now with four products and then uh, you add 10 more, 20 more, 50 more, your collection needs to grow automatically. Instead, if you set it up manually, you will need to manually go search and add the products that you want, uh, which is a waste of time. And uh, second of all, if you set it as uh, just adding products manually, you will never be able to change it later to add conditions to it. Um, so this is the bad way of doing it. Let's go back and see how we should do it. Uh, let's take, for example, the watches here. Um, the condition is uh, that product type is equal to watches. Um, which is pretty simple so what this means is that uh, any product that the product type is equal to watches it's gonna be added to this collection uh, the beauty of this is that it's it's gonna just expand on its own as long as you properly tag your products now let's take a look at the different uh, options you have when setting up conditions for uh, for a collection. Maybe you creating a new collection or you editing a collection that already has a condition. Uh, the first thing you need to um, to answer or know is: Are you going to use multiple conditions for this collection in particular? So you can add multiple conditions using this button here. Um, the second thing that you need to know is if you have multiple conditions are do you want them um, to all be true in order to add a product to this collection or any condition um, let's see another example here um, first of all one of the condition is the product type so my product type needs to be equal to watches and I'm gonna add a second condition being the product price uh, which needs to be greater than uh, let's say five dollars so if I select here any conditions meaning and I do a save you can see here the products that I have it's only the watches if I do a save it will refresh the collection and the condition and now it's actually going to show me all the products that I have in this store. Why? Because I selected to add products that match any condition below. So all of the products going to match the condition of product price greater than 5. If I want to do it to match all of the conditions, you just select it here. And if we save, it's going to show me the watches that that match both conditions so and product type and product price now let's take a look at the different um, conditions you can create you will have the product title you can have the product type product vendor if you have different manufacturers different vendors you can uh, you can use that uh, product price product tag uh, which is really useful um, the only issue with product tag is that you the condition or the logic that you can use for the product tag is only uh, equal to with the other types that you have you can also have it's not equal to it's greater than it's less than starts ends, contains does not contain um, so product tag is limited to only if it's equal to an exact tag um, you also have a uh, compare at price 
you can do by weight, inventory stock, and uh, the variance title. So as an example with the variance title, uh, the logics, all of the logics are available. Um, so you can even use uh, contains. So if your variance title contain a certain word, it's gonna add all of those products. Um, so just to recap this, this drop down is for the condition itself, uh, what type of condition you want to apply, and this one will be for the logic to use uh, with that type. You can add as many conditions as you want, and you can select to um, the, if the product needs to match all of the conditions or only one of the conditions in order to be added to this collection. The second thing I want to show you in order to create a good collection for your store is how you want to sort your uh, products inside the collection. You have different options. Uh, most of them are self-explanatory and um, you can do by best selling if you do have a store that it's working and that it's making sales it's just gonna order them by the best selling product first or you can also do it manually if you have a small collection and you will want to uh, to show your most popular or whatever you want as a sorting order uh, you'll have the option to just click and drag and drop your products. It will update right away on, on the collection itself. So this is it. If, um, if you have any questions, just let me know in the comments below. Also, check out the description of this video. You'll find my information if you want to uh, get in contact with me. I also have some, um, some special promotion there uh, if you want to take a look at it and some advertisement that I'm doing. So, have a good day.